What's up everyone? We're here for day three for Patrick, day two for Jeff and I. Uh, we're in here early, just been kind of hanging out, drinking some coffee, drinking some orange juice, eating some delicious pastries. And uh, we're just getting ready to kick off the busiest day of the expo. It's gonna be Saturday. It's gonna get crazy in here, I think. Uh, we're all really excited to just see kind of the madness of it all. But uh, for us, we'll just be here wandering around, checking stuff out and just seeing how the day goes. So uh, stick around and uh, follow along. What's up? We're here in the Matthews booth. We're checking out some of their uh, bows that are coming out for 2020. We got Trent here with Matthews, who's going to kind of give us a little rundown of what we're looking at. Yeah, how we doing, guys? We got this year's flagship models here. We got the VXR 28 and the 31 and a half. Um, basic, basically, they're this one's a little bit shorter, a little bit more built for your tree stand hunter. Um, it's definitely nice for the Western hunter too. A little more compact you can throw it on your pack you're not getting it in the snagged on limbs and stuff as you're walking through um, and then we got the 31 and a half which a lot of guys like it's got a little bit more forgiveness but one thing you'll notice about both of these bows um, a little bit longer riser than we've done in the past and that just creates for a little bit more stability you're looking at 344 feet per second on the 28 uh, 300 43 on the 31 and a half um, super dead in the hand you know still very similar to going off of the triax and the verdicts um, but we've actually there's actually less vibration in, in these bows so okay. each year we're getting quieter and quieter very cool that's a quick rundown on it for you nice i know that uh jeff just picked himself up a vxr you can watch that video of him shooting all the different bows and going with the vxr over competitors brands on our youtube channel what's up guys we're at the western hunting conservation expo here in salt lake city and we are with our good friend brad with our golly uh he's gonna walk us through a couple of his game bag options and uh, tell you how rad they are. So can I call you Hefe? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I'm Uncle Hefe at yeah, home. Uncle Hefe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good to see you, Hefe. Yeah, thanks, man. Um, this is our uh, large game MOB pack. So this is our meat on bone kit for elk. It comes with four quarter bags, large quarter bags, and one smaller bag for spare meat parts. Um, it's 14 ounces. Fits in your backpack. Super nice. They're reusable. Um, lightweight nylon material. They're just wonderful all around. Sweet. Do you agree with that, Hefe? I, I do, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, they worked fantastic for us, so I mean. <laughs> we have another kit, too. So our other kit is our high country pack. So we have two kits. Our high country pack is like meat on bone for deer or boned out elk. And it's five of our smaller game bags uh, that fit into here. Nine ounces, uh, size of a gas station burrito, but not a Chipotle burrito. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah Chipotle definitely. burrito is going to be a little bit bigger than this. Especially if you get the uh, extra beans in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or carnitas. Yeah. My personal favorite. So, yeah. Anyways, the high country pack, MOB pack, you can really do, uh, fit any like North American big game animal in these two packs. So. Awesome, man. And yeah. they're right over here. Yeah. Which ones you got hanging here? Yeah, so this is our large quarter bag. Don't poke your eye out. Okay. Uh, so this is our, uh, this is our large game, our meat on bone quarter bag for elk. And then this is our 17 by 29 bag. So this is meat on bone for quarters for deer size game or spare meat for um, uh, elk. Uh, you can also fit, you can really, realistically, you can fit like two quarters from a deer in one of these bags. So okay. a shoulder and a hind or two shoulders pretty casually. Perfect. So 
Yeah, that's pretty much it. All man. right, man. Where could uh, folks find these things? Uh, you can find them on our website at argalioutdoors.com. Perfect. Well, there yeah. you have it. Brad with Argali swinging some bags. Uh, back to Patrick at the HQ. <laughs> What's up? We are here in the Bergara booth. Going to check out some rifles. We got Nick here who's going to kind of give us a rundown of a couple of their models that uh, would be applicable to a backcountry hunter. Yeah, so what we have here is our Wilderness series and the B14 line. Our B14 line's been really, should I be looking at the camera? Yeah, yeah. either way. B14 line's been uh, incredibly successful for us, so we decided to add some upgrades. We now have a We've got the camo stock with the Sierra Coat barrel. Uh, the ridge line's gonna, the ridge rifle is gonna actually come already threaded with the suppressor. So you're getting our camo stock, the Sierra Coat barrel with the muzzle brake. Uh, you mentioned backcountry hunters. A lot of us here are. Weight becomes real, real uh, important issue. What we've got here is our Mountain 2.0 rifle. You get the carbon fiber stock. You got the fluted out barrel a little bit thinner barrel, it comes right in around six pounds. This is gonna be one that's gonna be really nice to carry, really good to pack. Uh, we have it available in short action calibers as well as long action calibers. So for the diehard backpack country hunters out there, this is gonna be the one you're gonna to wanna to look at. It's gonna be the Bagara Mountain 2.0. Nice, sounds good. What uh, would you say is your most popular or most well-rounded, well-used uh, uh, model? So our, probably our most popular is going to be our, our HMR has been incredibly successful for us, and that's going to be the hunting match rifle. It's going to be this one right here. Um, not going to be the first choice for the backpack, backpack guy, uh, heavier rifle. Going to be phenomenal to shoot, inherently yeah. accurate. Um, got some adjustments in the stock. It's going to fit your smaller frame shooters as well as the bigger guys. Uh, my wife shoots it phenomenally. Okay. I've got some former students I get behind this rifle. It's a it's a gun that nobody wants to shoot one time. Yeah. Everyone keeps shooting it. Okay. Um, for a standard hunting rifle. Uh, another good viable option for the backpack country guy, um, the hunter, aptly named, falls right in that good regular weight on a rifle. Got a nice smooth action, um, short action as well as long action calibers. This is going to be our go-to for most guys that are going to be out okay, here. Okay, kind of your all-around yeah, go-to yep, rifle. Is, this is going to be the all-around go-to rifle. Okay, cool. Yeah, I know that we use heavier rifles even though we are backcountry guys. Um, Patrick also has a lightweight rifle that he will carry as well. But uh, for those guys who aren't afraid to carry that heavier rifle because they're going to shoot a longer distance yeah. and want you know that stability and that's exactly right you go you add the weight and you're gonna add the stability exactly when you sit down to shoot lay down to shoot it's just gonna hold it's just gonna hold better yeah so that lightweight rifle will be good for those like on the go just like huffing moving all the time yep, guys absolutely. and then that heavier gun is gonna be for your sit down get ready for that long range shot yep and in all honesty the little the little hunter here it's gonna it's gonna do everything as far as distance okay. too okay um, we, perfect. we run them out to extended yardages um, in various calibers sweet perfect thank okay. you so much all right well thank you man I yep. appreciate it yeah, that's hey guys we're here at the Western Hunting Conservation Expo in Salt Lake City and we are with my friend Dylan with Onyx yep what is Onyx um, Onyx, so basically it's an app, turns your phone into a full functioning GPS. Um, it'll show you the landowners, all the boundaries, all the public lands, hunt GMUs. Uh, we've got a ton of hunting specific data, you know, old fire burns, roadless areas, um, tons of data. But yeah, snap, download it, get free seven days. Try iPhone, it out. Droid, yep. everything? Yeah. Okay, yeah, how so much is it for one state? One state's twenty nine ninety nine a year okay. um, after the free seven day trial. And okay. then for all 50 states, for the guys that are you know, drawn out of state and checking out new areas, a uh, hundred bucks a year. Cool. So yeah. So if I have an app and my buddy has an app, can we like drop pins and share yep. them with each other? And yeah. What can, other cool stuff can we do with Onyx? Mark waypoints, uh, track yourself, uh, attach photos to waypoints, share waypoints. So if, you know, we're meeting up and you text me a waypoint, sure. I just hit accept. Now it's in my app, you know, oh, now cool. we can meet up. So use awesome. that a lot for uh, safety. Um, you know, I'm going to be hunting here solo. Um, and then also like, a couple years ago, sent to Waypoint, hey, I get shot an elk, yeah. need help packed out. Um, you know, Zach was able to come right up to it. So, Perfect. yeah, lots of features, but yeah, the show's been good. We're day three now, so yeah, it's starting to get a little tired, but it's picking up and a lot of, a lot of Onyx users stopping by, so. Heck yeah, man, awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, anything else that our followers should know about Onyx before we, uh, we bail out of here? Not much, just uh, download it, try it free for seven days, and then okay. uh, after that, give us a call if you have any questions, but 
pretty self-explanatory. Awesome. Well, thanks, Dylan. Yeah. And uh, Thank you, back guys. to you. Thank you for watching this week's video. Feel free to hit that subscribe button, follow along, and head over to our website at pandwild.com to see all of our merchandise for sale. We'll catch you next week.